My name is Rory Metcalf, and I'm the author of Contest for the Indo-Pacific, Why China Won't Map the Future, a book I published this year in Australia and also uh, internationally, the Australian edition, Contest for the Indo-Pacific, Why China Won't Map the Future, and the international edition, Indo-Pacific Empire, China, America, and the Contest for the World's Pivotal Region. But the reason I'm speaking to you today is that I'm very pleased that the book is now being published in Chinese language translation in Taiwan, and I hope it will reach readers across other parts of the Chinese-speaking world. This book speaks to the big challenges of our era, the great shocks and disruptions of this year 2020, but also the decade ahead. The book takes a long view of the history of our region and looks at the contest for power and influence among nations, among societies, among economies. The book makes an argument that many of the issues we're seeing this year, whether it's the so-called black swan event of the pandemic, whether it's the strategic rivalry between the United States, or whether it's the efforts of the People's Republic of China to crack down on dissent and free expression, all of these issues are connected. The book makes the argument that we need to find a, a settling point for Chinese power and ambition, and that only through bringing together coalitions of countries across the Indo-Pacific, countries like the United States, Japan, Australia, India, but more countries in Southeast Asia, will we begin to build, I guess, the, the coalition, the framework to persuade China to achieve that settling point in its ambitions that does not lead to conflict. There's an important place in this conversation, of course, for the future of Taiwan. And I'm particularly pleased that the book is reaching an audience in Taiwan. This year, 2020, so many of the challenges facing the region and the world have had a Taiwanese dimension. I think in many countries, people have looked with great respect at the way with which Taiwanese society, Taiwanese government, has engaged with the challenge of the coronavirus pandemic. The response to COVID-19, achieving uh, control of the spread of the pandemic while maintaining democratic values and principles. Likewise, much of the world has watched closely at the elections in Taiwan this year and the way in which Taiwan resisted interference and influence operations to achieve uh, the will of the people, a democratic result under free and fair conditions. And of course, as we look to the assertiveness of the People's Republic of China right around its neighbourhood, from the border with India, where there's been violence this year, to the South China Sea, to China's relations with Japan, to of course economic coercion against my country, Australia, it's important to understand the place of Taiwan in that tapestry of regional insecurity. I think many eyes will be on the challenge now for maintaining stability across the Taiwan Strait, but also maintaining the democracy and the rights of the Taiwanese people when we look to see what is occurring in Hong Kong. I hope that my book then casts some light on how the region got to this time of great challenge and uncertainty, contest for the Indo-Pacific, but I hope my book also identifies how the diplomacy and the combined efforts of many powers, of many players, of many societies can help to achieve a settling point for the region's future prosperity and security. Thank you.